Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Barbecue Pork Belly. Today I want to share with you guys a really simple, straightforward recipe for a smoky, salty, sweet and saucy smoked barbecue pork belly. So we're working with roughly six pounds of Duroc pork belly. This is skin off pork belly from Creekstone Farms. Um, this is about half of a whole pork belly. We're gonna smoke up this half today. There's not much trimming to do, but I will do a little bit of scoring on the surface just to get a little extra texture. Uh, this is a step that you can totally skip if you want to, but just for the sake of honestly creating just a little bit of extra texture, that's all I'm looking to do. And it really only matters on this fat side, to be honest. The other side is gonna have a little bit more meat on it, and we'll take a look at that, uh, but there's not much work to do there. So that all looks good. We're just gonna hit this with some of our jalapeno honey mustard to kind of slather, add a little base coat of flavor, of sugar to help caramelize during the smoking process and to help the rub adhere to the cold meat. Speaking of the rub today, we are working with Yoder Smokers Pork Rub. Uh, really great all around barbecue pork seasoning, salty, sweet, a little bit of like a honey hint to it. Not spicy whatsoever, so you can definitely serve this up for the whole family. So we'll just get that pressed into the meat. We want it to look wet on the surface before we take it over to the smoker, but we're really not letting it like sit and cure or do anything like that. Doesn't need to hang out for very long before it's ready to get on the grill. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running it at 275 degrees with hickory pellets. So we're gonna go second shelf here, just to get away from the radiant heat coming from below. You get nice air movement around this pork belly. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up our amazing tube smoker just to pump a little extra smoke in here today since we're cooking a little bit higher. We're gonna fill this tube just with the hickory pellets from the hopper and light it up with the torch. Our pork belly has been smoking for four and a half hours now and it's looking really beautiful. The internal temperature has crossed over that 200 degree mark. We're aiming for about 205 to 207, but before we hit that, I wanna brush it with some barbecue sauce. So we're gonna warm some sauce up on the grill right now. We're gonna be using Firebug Mild Grilling Sauce today. This stuff is a really great fruit, fruit infused barbecue sauce with blackberries and blueberries in it. And fruit goes great with pork. But on top of that, we're gonna thin this out with just a little bit of pineapple juice as well. So this thin sauce will kind of coat the entire surface of that pork belly and add a little bit of extra fruitiness to it. We got some heat on the sauce now, so it's not gonna cool down the pork as we brush it on there. It's been warming up for about 20 minutes. We're now at about 205 on the internal, which means we're getting close to being done with this pork belly. So we just wanna hit this with a little bit of sauce and let it tack up on here until we're ready to pull this thing off. You see how thin this is? This is the fat, that fat side that we scored. So that sauce can kind of just soak right down into those little crags. All right, let's close that up, let it tack up. So that sauce is looking really good on the surface. It's been sitting on there for about half an hour now. We're ready to pull our pork belly off the grill. Oh. Let's give it a little bit of time to rest before we slice into it. Well, let's go ahead and slice into it now. Oh yeah, cutting like butter. Except for that bottom part. We got a little bit of a crust on the bottom, which is nice. Yeah, got a little barky down there. Boy, check that out. Super juicy. Woo! 
where that fat is just oozing out. And this stuff is just ready to fall apart. Let's get a bite. Mm. Oh, just melts in your mouth. The flavor is really balanced. A nice balance of sweet and salty. Just a touch of barbecue sauce. So I'm not just tasting sauce. I'm taking, I'm tasting this pork. I mean, that's pork and smoke is what you're tasting. You got a little bit of salt, a touch of sweetness. Always serve a little bit more sauce on the side. I mean, this right here, put a slab of that in a tortilla. On a slice of white bread, heck, even on a bed of rice, or just eat it straight off the board. It's not going to last long. You can serve this in slices, or cube it up like burn ends, especially those really barky end pieces. However you serve it up, it's going to be delicious. A little bit more sauce on the side. Mm. Mm. Extra sauce is a must. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.